Today I'll be reviewing the Mango, Rikio, or as some like to call it, Fist of the North Star prison version. And while yes, these two mangas have a good amount of similarities with main character story elements and violence, Rikio is still its own thing, and is also a seinen, meaning it's able to get away with a lot more violence than North Star did. And when I say a lot more, I really mean a lot more. Because holy shit, this manga has some brutal ass action. Anyways, Rikio debuted in 1988 in the Business Jump magazine and was created by Saoru Watari Tetsuya. It also got a pretty good live action movie in China in a couple of VAs. But now let's get into what this manga is all about. Rikio initially starts off with the titular violence hero Rikio being taken to a maximum security prison led by four emperors, which like the manly badass he is, goes out to beat as well as protect the weak. But for the most part, the beginning is just a fun story with Rikio fighting these four emperors with loads of over the top violence. Like seriously, not a chapter in the series ends without some sort of insane amount of bloodshed and flying chunks of bad guys. However, the series starts to evolve and gain some sci-fi and supernatural elements as we learn more about Rikio and his brother, who together could possibly end the world. And just when you think the series couldn't get any more insane, it starts adding in some religious elements towards the end. While a lot of this may seem a bit jarring, a lot of these elements blend together rather well in the end, for the most part. The final story arc, while nothing too bad and does add more to Rikio as a character, did have a lot of parts in it which could have been handled better. Despite that, the rest of the story was enjoyable. Sure, there were times where you could tell the author wanted to take this series into a much deeper direction, very similar to Fist of the North Star, however, it just didn't work out for me that well. But that's okay, because when you read Rikio, all you want is fucking manly violence, and you will receive plenty of it because holy shit look at all this bloodshed someone sign up Rikio for the next Mortal Kombat game but by now I've talked plenty about the bloodshed and violence so now let's talk about the art that illustrates it all and well it's pretty damn good and manly the action scenes are well drawn and exciting and the gore is very detailed maybe a bit too painfully detailed at certain points characters look great especially the many monstrous motherfuckers Rikio has to go against and many of these panels just scream badass, a word that perfectly fits this series. It is badass, which is why I say Rikio is a great manga.